guys here i am going to show you the biggest ship the largest ship of the world ever goods the length of this ship is 400 meters and the width is 60 meters it is 60 meter wide and 400 meters is the length you can imagine how big this is you can see this ship whoa it's very huge We are in Singapore Strait. See how beautiful sea is. So guys, we are going to travel a distance of about 8200 nautical miles. That is equal to about 15,000 kilometers. Our engine is on full ahead. We are going with RPM of 75 and the speed which we are doing right now that is 17.9 knots that means about 40 kilometers per hour. So guys, in today's video, we will see how to fix the HRU hydrostatic release unit properly in a life raft. So let's go. This life raft we received newly and we are going to pick up uh, the life raft by our provision crane. And for that we are making first the uh, strap and after putting the strap, the bosun will pick up the life raft by crane. This is our life raft. We are going to put over this cradle. We have to fix. This was due for annual survey and we have done annual survey. The old one already offloaded. We have received two new ones. Two new life raft for port side and two for starboard side. So we are going to fix it on the cradle. And I will going to show you. I'm going to show you how to fix the life raft on the cradle and what are the arrangements you have to check when you are fixing. HRU after securing. So this is your whole pack. These are the markings, and you can see over there. Once it's come new, it is written over here that after you finish the mounting, you have to cut this strap. So these two straps you must cut after fixing it on those cradles. So you can see this life raft is provided with a certificate over here. So this is also one of the certificate. So this is the third one. That is for six person, which is requirement of solas for the vessels which are more than 100 meter in length. You have to carry one additional in the forward side, in the foxhole deck. So that is for the foxhole one, and these two are for the starboard side. So once you receive the HRU, you, inside the box you will find an HRU like this. On top you have the yellow marking and down you have a red marking. 
you have one connector which is provided for making fast the painter this is yellow and this is the one red color and this connector will be fixed with the red color only in the down side so let's go see what items are required so you have this connector which will be fixed like this you have three D circle small one and a sand house clip clip so these things are provided in the box together so you can see the box so in this HRU what you have to check once you receive a new HRU you have to check the expiry date you can see over here that it is marked with December black color and here is the year 2024 so it is valid till December 2024 so this is what you have to check in the HRU once you receive a new HRU so this is how it looks like on top you have the yellow section and down you have red section so the top one will go to the lashing and the red one will go to the strong point where you connect your painter for survival let's take this diagram apart to see how it works and how to correctly rig it there is the main strap that runs over the top on the end of the strap is a send house slip. These are used as they allow quick manual release if you're launching it yourself. If the send house slip was secured straight to the deck, the raft would never float free on its own. So instead we fit the hydrostatic release in between. On this unit, we attach it to the yellow section. This is critical as it's been specifically designed with less friction for when the HRU operates. The other end of the hydrostatic release is fixed straight to the deck. This end does not need to come free, so we can use a shackle here. The final part is this red section. This is the weak link. We must attach the painter to this part. The weak link is specifically designed to pull the painter tight enough to inflate the raft, but crucially, it's weak enough to break before pulling the raft down with the vessel. Overall, we've got the main securing strap attached to the low friction reinforcement, the hydrostatic release unit, which cuts the raft free, the weak link to which the painter is attached and then finally the whole unit is secured to the deck through its securing point. So what happens when we sink? So these all comes in a kit, full complete set and these are the tools which are, we are going to use for fixing the HR unit. These are the certificates which are provided together with the box. Once you receive a new one, you will be provided with these certificates which I am going to show you. So this is the declaration of conformity of this HRU. So here I am going to show you the launching procedure of life raft. Once you fix the life raft, you must check that there should be a launching procedure which is pasted near the bulkhead, which is the closest bulkhead. You must be pasted with the launching procedure. So guys, those are the lashings which coming from the top and here we are going to fix the HRU. Those lashings will be connected to HRU and then to the strong point on the downside. So let's go. This is the place where we fix the our uh, strong point HRU. So we are just opening the old D cycle and from downside you must check we have fixed the red color part. The red color of the HRU we have fixed to the strong point on the ship which is connected to the cradle. So this top yellow part we will connect to the sand house clip and then that sand house clip we connect to the lashing. So yellow part is connected to the top part the lashing of the life raft and the red part is connected to the strong point and same near the red part we will fix the painter which is coming out from the life raft those painters we will fix on the red part that is on downside. You can see here the red part there we will fix our painter. So as you can see the painter is coming out from the life raft and it is connected to the red part with the help of a D cycle. So we have to connect the painter to the red part of the HRU with the help of a D cycle. So now we are going to cut the strap which was previously secured there and it was mentioned that after fixing the life raft we have to cut these two stripes so we are cutting that stripe 
and we are going to show you the certificate which are which is provided together with the life craft so you can see i'm going to open it and uh, this is your certificate which we get together with the life raft so you can see here it is a identification card where you have given the registry of the ship the name of the ship and uh, the company date of inspection and the signature signature of the technician who have inspected this life raft So finally our life raft is fixed, HRU is connected, painter is attached and you can see this is the lashing. Now they are going to fix similarly the other one also.